The Masked Singer Season 9's Dandelion became the Round 3 champion on WB Movie Night. And there are many clues that can help figure out her identity. Dandelion's stunning rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz, along with Mantis' version of old-time rock and roll, knocked Doll out of the competition. She then went head-to-head -head with Mantis in the Battle Royale, during which they both sang, I've got a golden ticket from Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. The Masked Singer panelists, Robin Thicke, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, Ken Jeong, and Nicole Scherzinger, had a difficult time deciding between them, as they were both so good. The Masked Singer Season 9 panelists chose Dandelion to go through to the next round. However, when it was time for Mantis to unmask, Robin rang the ding-dong keep it on bell in order to save him. He will compete against the other two saves of the season, Medusa and Gargoyle. Dandelion will move on to sing against two new competitors on Space Night. As fans eagerly await her upcoming performance, they can piece together the clues, and make guesses about who she is. The Masked Singer's Dandelion began her career as a child Dandelion's clue package began with her saying, My life has always felt kind of like a movie. The Wizard of Oz to be exact. She then walked through a black and white farmhouse set reminiscent of the movie. Dandelion continued, like Judy Garland, I started my career when I was just a kid. A wanted poster with Dandelion's picture on it was then shown. The Masked Singer's Dandelion has worked with Legends Dandelion then revealed that she's worked with some music icons. She said, I've worked with all the greats. Madonna, Flea, Sir Elton John, The Living and the Dead. Cardboard cutouts of the music legends were shown. Then, a person dressed as a zombie stumbled into the scene. The masked singer's dandelion was affected by a tornado dandelion confessed. But the way I am, I was restless for a home. A place to play my keys. One of the men in black with angel wings and a halo played the piano, while the zombie ate a flower. So I put down roots in a musical city. The scene then turned to color like the Wizard of Oz. One masked singer man in black was dressed as the Tin Man, and another was the Scarecrow. A flower stand with a trumpet on it was shown. It had a sign that said, Welcome to Music City. Dandelion went on with her story, saying, Sadly, much like the Wizard of Oz, a devastating twister hit my home. But just like dandelions growing through the cracks in the concrete, I rebuilt. I learned no matter what, there's always sunshine after the rain. She then picked an apple from a tree and ate it. Dandelion concluded her clue package by saying, and that's why I am so excited to sing this song tonight. In the distance, a rainbow appeared over the Emerald City, as the Scarecrow, Dandelion, and the Tin Man skipped their way towards it. The Masked Singer's Dandelion has a special clue after Dandelion's The Masked Singer WB Movie Night performance. Another clue was shared. One of the men in black brought out a pair of ruby slippers. One of the shoes had a tag that said, Billboards. Dandelion explained the clue by saying, these heels were made for performing. TV, movies, concerts, and even charting next to Olivia Rodrigo. The Masked Singer panelists shared their guesses. The Masked Singer panelists put together the clues and made some good guesses for Dandelion. Nicole thought she might be Zoe Deschanel because she sings, plays the piano and played the Dorothy character in the Tin Man miniseries.
While Jenny loved the guests, she cited the Angel and Billboard clue, and came up with Emmy Rossum. In a miniseries, Emmy played Angeline, who appeared on many billboards around Los Angeles in the 1980s. In addition, Jenny explained that Emmy appeared on Shameless and in the Phantom of the Opera movie musical. Nicole said that she thought that Dandelion sounded more like Zoe than Emmy. Ken's guest, Reese Witherspoon, was universally panned by his fellow panelists and the audience. However, he pointed out that Reese has a production company called Hello Sunshine and Dandelions Need Sunshine. He also thought that the Apple Clue might be a hint at Reese's television show, The Morning Show, which is produced by Apple. The Masked Singer fans think Dandelion is a famous singer although the Masked Singer panelists did a great job guessing Dandelion's identity. Fans think that someone else could be behind this beautiful flowers mask. In the comments section of a Masked Singer WB Movie Night preview shared on YouTube, a short clip of dandelion singing was revealed. Several people thought she might be singer Annie Lennox. YouTube user writer True wrote, Annie Lennox I know that voice I listened to her on the radio so many times. Another fan, Kay, wrote, Dandelion sounds a bit like Annie Lennox, and a bunch of people agreed. Other guesses for Dandelion included singers Khalees, Alanis Morissette, Dua Lipa, and Mary J. Blige, although there is no consensus yet for Dandelion's identity, it is clear that the panelists and the audience recognize the great talent behind her mask. Her performance of Somewhere Over the Rainbow was stellar, and raised the bar for future competitors. Dandelion was superb, and was able to come out ahead of the very talented singers, Doll and Mantis. The Masked Singer Season 9's Dandelion has an extraordinary voice that blew the panelists away. She is now on her way to the final round of the first part of the competition, Masked Singer in Space Night. As she takes on the final two masks of the competition, UFO and Lamp, she will have the chance to earn a spot in the quarterfinals with Macaw and California Roll. Whomever she turns out to be, she is yet another fantastic singer on The Masked Singer Season 9. The Masked Singer airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on Fox. Sources. The Masked Singer, Instagram. The Masked Singer, Instagram. The Masked Singer, Instagram. The Masked Singer, Instagram. The Masked Singer, YouTube. Yeah.